Hello folks, it's Homebrew Wednesday. Uh, some quick updates for you. I'm not in my usual location, I'm not in the brewery. I'm hiding inside. Uh, no particular reason other than I'm in front of my computer doing some editing. So I've been bringing you lots of um, new uh, videos and content and I have been brewing. However, it has been five weeks since I uploaded my 100 sub uh, video and uh, updates and I have yet to announce the winner. So I need to sort that out. Um, I'm having a beer. It's Wednesday, middle of the week. Climb to the weekend. Um, having a pint of my cheeky Sabro Galaxy and Citra uh, New England IPA. My battery on the camera just ran out. So, having a beer, a um, couple of updates, my um, my English bitter is still in the uh, Firmzilla, so that's going to be heading for two weeks in the Firmzilla on Saturday, so I'll be going in a keg. Um, currently it's just sat in the garage, uh, because the firm fridge has got the hazelnut and cacao stout. Uh, which I brewed on Saturday and I have got some footage on the way uh, for that so uh, I'll look out for that video um, coming fairly soon. I'm not sure whether it will be growing to glass uh, yet. I'll come to decide that in the near future so it might be a few weeks yet until you see that. Um, but that's quite an exciting beer. Um, that is going to be a 6.5% ish hazelnut um, cacao chocolate milk stout it's gonna have some coffee in it um, it's basically a big oatmeal stout uh, with some lactose and um, lots of cacao nibs and I'll be adding uh, some hazelnut essence uh, in the keg so it uh, sounds like a pretty exciting bit um, I'm hoping it come off is it, gonna come off well um, but I'm excited about the English Bitter. That is not a style that I brew very often. I think I've only ever brewed uh, an English style beer. Um, if you exclude the stouts, twice. I've made the Summer Ale from the Bible and I have made a ESB. Um, neither of which were particularly good in my opinion um, so I thought you know what I'm really hankering for a nice pint of English bitter and uh, my good friend Stuart Prince um, down the road in Hailing Island uh, very kindly has sent me some secondary regulators uh, the new small kegland ones uh, because he's an absolute ledge and that means to say that I'm going to be able to tweak the carbonation level much um, much more accurately on a number of different kegs. So, um, so I'm excited to rack the bitter, which has been under some pressure. I haven't added any CO2. All I did was cap the beer fairly close to the end of fermentation, allowed the pressure to rise up, not totally dissimilar to what you would do effectively with um, with a cask beer. I've not added any extra yeast or, or sugar. Uh, I will then um, keg that and I will try and keep, uh, with the new secondary reg, the pressure very low. So it's, it's gonna be more, very much fitting to the style it's not going to be quite. It's not going to be cask. I don't have a hand pull pump. I don't have a uh, a sankey keg, um, etc. So it's going to go in a corner. It's going to be pushed out by CO2. So it's not, according to camera, officially cask scale. But uh, we won't get into that. So anyway, cracking on. I'm going to announce the hundred sub competition winner. Um, amazingly. Five weeks ago, posted this video. I just passed the 100 sub mark. I am now nearing the 200 sub mark, 
which is incredible. I'm over the moon about that. And I will be running a 200 sub competition, which will be even more exciting than the 100 sub uh, competition. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I probably will announce it shortly before getting to 200 subs. Try and push this over the line. As soon as I get there, I'll announce the winner. So uh, I'm going to cut to a screen grab. Uh, uh, me talking into a microphone and uh, we're going to announce the winner for the 100 subs competition so I have some hops for you guys, whoever wins there is some hops I think off the top of my head it's Mosaic, uh, Centennial and Columbus so there will be 300 grams of hops coming to the winner um, good luck everyone, thanks for those that commented and um Boom! And here we go, we're on commentpicker.com uh, About to select all of your comments on the video Start the raffle and pick a random winner Congratulations, Beanham Homebrew You are the winner some hops will be coming to you soon, so please um, comment uh, in response to this and we can uh, connect so you can send me your address details and we can get all that sorted out. Thanks for watching everyone.